Hi, my name is Shreema Ahmed. Today, I will present Preach, a system for privacy preserving speech transcription. This work is done in collaboration with Amrita, Qasim Fawaz, and Parmesh Ramanathan at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Speech transcription is a technology that automatically converts speech into text using advanced machine learning models. Such a technology is highly useful in many applications, such as journalism, medical charts, therapy sessions, classroom discussions, court hearings, and even customer service calls for in-audio search and documentation. These applications require scalable, accurate, and privacy-preserving transcription tools. As in most of these applications, the recorded data is protected by federal laws, prohibiting its distribution to third-party entities. Cloud providers such as Google, Amazon, IBM, and Microsoft offer convenient and highly accurate APIs for speech transcription. On the other hand, there are also open source offline systems such as CMU Sphinx, KLD, and DeepSpeech. These two options present a trade-off to the users between utility and privacy. In this talk, we will focus on Google and Amazon as cloud representatives, and deep speech as a state-of-the-art offline transcriber to highlight such a, such a trade-off. We evaluate both options on standard benchmark datasets using the standard metric of the word error rate. As the chart shows, the cloud systems perform slightly better than deep speech with a larger gap on the timid dataset. But what about their performance on real applications of continuous unstructured and overlapping speech? To assess the performance on real-world use cases, we prepare two new datasets. The first is extracted from the Facebook hearing before the US Senate. And the second is the Supreme Court case recording, Carpenter versus United States. Also, we evaluate two speakers from VCTK, which is a non-American accent dataset. As the chart shows here, the performance gap is much larger on the real-world cases. This performance gap is, however, expected since the cloud has access to tremendous training data and computational power that make it more robust to the real world variations. Hence, off the shelf offline transcribers are not reliable for real world applications. However, can we rely on the cloud services? To answer this question, we investigate the privacy threats resulting from processing speech data. Speech is a rich source of sensitive information. An adversary can extract personally identifying information by analyzing different aspects of the speech. First, the voice biometrics. For example, from a short speech sample as this one. Facebook is an idealistic and optimistic company. A curious adversary can infer many attributes about the speaker, such as age, gender, accent, and emotion. And more importantly, the speaker's identity. You can tell that the speaker of this sample is Mark Zuckerberg. Moreover, the extracted voice biometrics can be used to impersonate the speaker. We have used a pre-trained voice cloning network to generate this fake speech sample. Technology can clone a speaker's voice from a short segment of their speech. Second, from the textual content of the speech, an adversary can extract sensitive words such as names, locations, credit card numbers, dates, etc. Also, many statistical analyses can be built on top of the entire transcript, such as a topic model, stylometry analysis, document classification, and sentiment analysis. Therefore, the cloud-based and offline systems present a trade-off between utility and privacy. Obviously, the cloud offers higher performance, while the offline systems offer complete privacy as the speech never leaves the user's device or trust boundary. So our goal in this work is to design an end-to-end -end transcription system that provides an intermediate solution along the utility privacy spectrum. In this talk, we present Preach. Preach applies privacy-preserving operations locally on the original speech file. Then it sends the processed speech to the cloud for transcription. Specifically, Preach obfuscates the user's voice biometrics and protects the sensitive textual content by providing a formal privacy guarantee. It achieves higher performance compared to offline systems 
and it pr provides the users with control knobs to customize the utility and privacy levels. In the rest of the talk, I will explain these operations in detail. First, the voice biometrics. To obfuscate the user's voice biometrics, we apply many-to-one many voice conversion, which maps any source speaker voice to a single target speaker voice. Here are some samples from the Facebook hearing dataset. We face a number of important issues around privacy, safety, and democracy. Facebook, to make the necessary changes to ensure user privacy and give people a clearer picture. Trust and transparency. And these are the samples after voice conversion. We face a number of important issues around privacy, safety, and democracy. Facebook to make the necessary changes to ensure user privacy and give people a clearer picture. Trust and transparency. As you just heard, all the voice converted samples sound as the same speaker. Testing our system on speaker identification API, we got a 0% accuracy in Mac on matching uh, original speakers with their voice converted samples, which confirms that the voice biometrics are, are completely sanitized after voice conversion. Next, we address the textual content privacy. First, Reach breaks the context of the speech by segmenting the speech file. We design an adaptive segmentation algorithm that splits speech on silence by measuring the energy levels as well as pitch detection to get segments of two or three words long. Then, Preach separates the segments that contain sensitive words for local transcription using deep speech, while the rest of the segments that doesn't contain any sensitive words are sent to the cloud. But how to spot these words from speech? We use Pockets Phoenix for sensitive word spotting. It relies on acoustic similarity to spot the keywords inside the speech without the need for a transcript. Hence, the textual content is transferred now into a bag of words model. A bag of words model is effectively a histogram of words. So the second step of breach is to obfuscate this histogram by applying the formal definition of differential privacy. Breach adds noise to the histogram in the form of words, because this is a histogram of words, such that the probability of observing any noisy version of the histogram follows this epsilon delta DP definition. However, applying differential privacy on speech comes with an interesting set of challenges. First, Preach has access only to the speech. Hence, the true histogram is not a priori known. Second, the dummy words addition has to be done in the speech domain. And third, the added dummy words must be indistinguishable from the true speech in terms of the segment length, voice, and language model. To address these challenges, we designed this pipeline for dummy segments generation. First, Preach estimates the vocabulary or domain from a transcript obtained by the offline system. Although the offline system is not accurate, it is good enough to estimate the word's domain. Second, based on the estimated domain, Preach generates a dummy corpse using the state-of-the-art NLP language models. Third, Preach selects from this corpus the segments that satisfy the dummy words count that is generated by the DP mechanism. And finally, Preach converts the text segments into speech using text-to-speech technology. So the end-to-end -end system is as follows. Preach segments the original speech file into short segments, then scrubs the segments that contain sensitive words. Using a differentially private mechanism, Preach generates dummy segments. Voice conversion is applied on the two piles of segments to achieve two goals. One is to hide the original speaker's voice biometrics, and two is to ensure noise indistinguishability based on the acoustic features. Preach sends the sanitized segments to the cloud for transcription. Thanks to segmentation and the atomic nature of words, Preach removes the dummy segment's transcript at the user end. Hence, in Preach, the DP noise does not affect the transcription accuracy. Instead, it only increases the monetary costs. Finally, the control knobs. The most significant control knob is the design of the voice conversion system, which has a significant impact on the transcription accuracy. And the second most significant knob is the noise level which controls the privacy parameter and the, addition, the additional cost. 
In what follows, we present the overall performance at different settings of these control knobs. First, the performance comparison. <clears throat> In the most conservative privacy setting of applying many-to-one voice conversion, Reach outperforms deep speech with a 2% to 32% relative improvement in word error rate. And in the least private setting of no voice conversion, the improvement ranges from 44 to 80%. One-to-one -one voice conversion is an intermediate level of applying voice conversion, which satisfies an intermediate point between utility and privacy. The details of different implementations are in the paper. Second, the textual content privacy. This is the word cloud of the Facebook dataset. The word cloud is a visual representation of the word histogram, where a word size reflects its count and significance. As shown in the figures, increasing the noise amount obfuscates the word's count and changes the shape of the histogram. As you can see, the word people and Facebook are not as significant in the noisy word cloud. So Preach provides a formal privacy guarantee as follows. <clears throat> and a very interesting property of differential privacy is that post-processing of DP mechanism output does not cause any further loss of privacy. So any statistical analysis built on the noisy word histogram, such as topic modeling or stylometry analysis, will also satisfy the same epsilon delta guarantee. In summary, we present Preach as a privacy-preserving speech transcription system which provides an improved performance relative to offline transcription, obfuscates the speaker's voice biometrics, while allowing only a differentially private view of the textual content. Thank you. <laughs>